Hey, what's up, nerd family? Nerd of the North here. Coming to you live 1,400 miles from the North Pole. Um, yeah, guys, welcome to another episode of Nerd Flicks and Chill. Uh, we're going to be playing episode 2 of season 2, Life is Strange. Uh, it's called Rules. So I'm going to be looking forward to playing this game with you guys. Um, just a quick little recap of the first episode. Um, let's see, Sean and his brother Daniel, they, uh, um, they accidentally killed a bully. And then uh, a cop accidentally killed their dad. And they, uh, they ran away into the forest. And some stuff happened. And it seems like, um, uh, it seems like Daniel has a special power. Um, there's also going to be a tie-in from the, the little mini, uh, Captain Spirit. Some of you guys might have follow, follow along with that. So this, this episode's going to tie in with Captain Spirit. And we're going to be collecting all of the collectibles in, uh, this episode. So we're going to be looking for the metal box, the sign, the, the beer cap, the spaceship, the guitar pick, and the bus ticket. So, uh, hope you guys are ready for this. Tweet it out. Share it out. Do everything you can to get it out. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna dive right into this game, and I'm just gonna turn the microphone off. I'm gonna turn the camera off, and we're gonna get right into it. So I'll come back at the end of the episode, and we'll have a little chat. But uh, guys, sit back and uh, get ready for nerd flicks and chill. So yeah, let's do this. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up the Wolf Brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the Big Brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hoped Find peace.
Too heavy for you a few days ago. Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. You could try and lift mushroom? Are you kidding? I don't want to hurt her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. How about that one? I can do it with the small rods, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try. I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. Can you throw this rock in the river? Oh, yeah. Just watch. Okay, let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it a day. How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. We already tried yesterday, and the day before. It's too far. I can't reach it. Just one more time. Is this one too big? Yeah, it's just way too massive. Dude, it's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. Not your usual shooting range, right? What? How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure, look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. 
You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? <sighs> Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool. Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. Huh? Aw, that sucked. How about one more? Ready? Yes! Look! Look what I can do, Sean! I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. <coughs> You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you, I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. We should fill these up now. Don't want to go out during the night. Here we go. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz! Lazy Ranger, I told you not to bust out your power whenever- Sean, the water's fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry, I said fucking. Yeah, dude, watch it. Seriously. Okay. Finding that house was a miracle. Oh, I'm afraid we not can't again. stay here much longer. Gotta leave these poor bunnies alone. Uh, Sean? The family that. Hey, it's been a while since we last saw that rabbit who lives in there. Yeah. I hope it wasn't eaten by a bear, or worse. What's worse than a bear in Nano? I don't know. Wolves? <laughs> don't worry. Look, Daniel! I think I saw that rabbit from the other day. He's trying to get home. Ooh! I want to see the bunny! <laughs> oh, dude, your face. Sean, you suck. <laughs> Come on, Daniel. I was just kidding around. Moron. I don't know if I could gut an animal anyway. Uh, you then in Hungary? The family who owned that cabin really seemed to enjoy themselves here. Why never come back? Not really. Really? I'm getting hungry. I can. You eat like a bear, but you don't gain any weight. That's because I work it off. Hey, what's that? Looks like a box or something. Uh... Yo, Daniel. Come here. What's up? Can you fly that box down from the tree? Duh, watch me.
looks like an old cigar box. Let's check this out. Yeah, what's inside? Let's see. Uh, cardboard caps. Badges. Is that a power bear? But he's wearing a different costume. Maybe an old design? Awesome! Can we keep it? Sure. That's pretty old school cool. Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside and warm him up. Sorry, guys. We don't take any more guests. Must have been a really sweet spot to get a tan in the summer. can't really name Birch, right? Probably the name of a child who used to live here. It's so silent out here. No neighbors. No roads. It's like we're on another planet. A new planet. That's exactly what we need. <laughs> Daniel's definition of a cool snowman. I like it. <laughs> Daniel's definition of a cool snowman. I like it. We had to use Daniel's gift to break in. Don't worry, we'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> Dude, that cough doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Mm, uh, mm. Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, 
And the final rule? I know. Come on. Um. You can do it. Okay. Um. Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh. I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, you didn't even know. That shit was out of your control. But look what happened to the policeman. Maybe this power is a curse or something. Hey, we have no clue what happened. And it's not your fault. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. Kinda weird to use stranger stuff every day, but not like we have a choice. I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. I can't do shit. Mecha robot ready for takeoff. Three. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. But now she loves her bed by the fire. Daniel needs a doggo friend. Ready for today's training, puppy? <laughs> sit. Shroom, sit. Seriously, girl. Sit. Mushroom, sit, girl. Are you kidding me? You just don't know how to talk to her. I'll remember this, traitor. Mecha robot ready for takeoff. Three, two, one. Thank God kids used to spend vacations here. Daniel would have been mad without these. High school feels so far away now. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without E. He's definitely a fast learner. Maybe too fast. We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. my lighter.
taking pictures of alien species. There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but helps. Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. Poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? Feels weird to be living in their home. Shoot. Poor doggy's out of water. <laughs> hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. This room is fucking cold, so... We put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. Gotta love one hit wonders. Yeah. Daniel doesn't need to see this. Time to get warm. No excuse not to binge read. Oh yeah. He definitely cared for us. What a piece of shit. Wonder where Brody is now. Oh yeah. No internet. I'm used to ink, so... This will be different. I have time to learn dead for a week. But at least we got some news. Kinda reminds me of Dad's cheesy posters. Nice fort, Daniel. All that Minecraft paid off. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. Starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Yep. Yeah. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without. Guess it's time to start cooking. Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. I could start Daniel's delivery service. He looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him so much, it hurts, Sean. I know, Daniel. It's okay to think about him. I do it too. Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. I know, Daniel. It's okay to think about him. I do it too. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Yep. No more indoor training sessions. Hmm. Hello, motel room soap. What? It was published before you even... No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Too risky. 
pro tip, always boil the water. Unless you want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. Once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. It feels weird to loot other people's clothes, but we need the warmth. No more peeing at night for Daniel. He got so scared. We're lucky he didn't blow up the house. This is rank. Sharing with Daniel was the worst. How you doing, Mushroom? At least we have fresh water in our front yard. I'm just left. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. Daniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap. These were all I found when I hit the town last week. Mmm, tough choice. Better talk to Daniel after dinner. <sighs> so tired of eating the same shit. I just want one slice of pizza. Ravioli expert now. I think I'm ready to draw this. <sighs> Time to take the pen, dude. I did a memorize. Pretty good, but I can add more details if I want. <sighs> okay, got it. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. to draw this. Come on, girl. Let's get back in.
Okay, dinner's ready. Getting sick of ravioli. That was spaghetti a la tias. <laughs> Didn't you taste the famous truffle sauce? Yep. Plus, I love the garlic bread and ice cream. Yum. Ooh, you want some too, huh, mushroom? Bon appetit, mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. <coughs> Sorry, I'm cool. <sighs> Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. Gotta show him the map. I think I left it with my books. Mm. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh. This map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. No way I'm touching that. <sighs> okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. Hey man, can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom, come here, girl. <sighs> what a great team. Hmm. I could do a super cool manga about Daniel. Time to play dad talk. Man, I miss listening to music so fucking much. <laughs> Daniel loves his brand new tablet. Sean, there's someone at the door. What the? When did he show up? I don't know. I just saw him now. Mother... Daniel? <laughs> Got you! <laughs> Man, are you out of your mind? Uh, come on. Don't be such a pussy. <sighs> Don't you think your power can be put to a better use? Anyway. Okay, I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. <sighs> Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and... They'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they... don't like me? 
They're family, right? Plus, they owe us for what Karen... for what Mom did. Um... You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool, and... I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well... Okay. But Mushroom has to agree, too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a team of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, loser. Party time. Okay, ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Come on, I need a ship. <laughs> Too bad. Still incomplete? Jeez. Sounds like a no score. This is my last chance. Don't fail me. Yes, full ship and cargo. What are you gonna do? You just lucked out. I have a crew now. Here comes the loot. <sighs> Better than nothing. <laughs> High score. Oh, I'm a sucky pirate. <sighs> All right, your turn. Sit, please. Sit. Got a ship now. Come on, give me something, anything. Why don't I get a full ship? Come on. <sighs> okay, let me throw now. Can I get something better this time? Come on. I need a ship. <laughs> Too bad. I need a ship. Give me a six. Still incomplete? Sounds what the like hell? a nose straw. I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Uh, boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? <laughs> you mean, we beat Dad. Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. <sighs> Definitely. He was a great pirate. <laughs> Just like us. Captain Diaz, King of the Seas. Okay, let me throw now. Do you think Grandma and Grandpa will have a console? Uh, I don't think so, dude. Sorry. No biggie. I like playing dice and stuff, too. Whoa, Daniel the big nerd, getting sick of screens. No way. It's nice for a change. But I still want my playbox. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I hope Noah is keeping our Minecraft fortress alive for when I come back. I'm sure he is, pal. No way he gave up your super kingdom. Here you go, cargo. Ah, 
Not the best score. But I'll do better next time. You'll see. You wish. Mushrooms growing up so fast. <laughs> really? I don't see much difference. Well, she's still a tiny dot. But I can tell she's getting older. And smarter. You're a smart girl. Right? <laughs> she's so cute. I love her forever. Come on. Give me something. Anything. Phew. It was a close one. Ah, pretty good. Okay, let me throw now. Cool. Give me the same. Come on, I need a ship. <laughs> Too bad. Still incomplete? Sounds what the like hell? a no score. Yay. No full ship. No score. Your turn, lubber. Ooh, you see this? Perfect throw. Yeah, yeah. Good job. And I win. Do you know what it means? Yeah, okay. You want it. Here's my bag. Mmm, let's see. Here, what do you think? <laughs> Is that mushroom? Yes! I know I'm not as good as you, but... Nah, it's... It's really cool, dude. Thanks. So, let's do another one? It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. Gross. You're right. Don't smoke. But... It's our last night, so we can do anything. <laughs> all right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude.
Hey, Daniel. How are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like you're always polite. Come on. Chill out. What did you pack in? What the f- Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? We have a two day walk ahead of us. Better get going. Daniel, where are you? No, I have to find Daniel and Mushroom. What are they doing? Dude, what are you doing? That's not good. Oh, shit. Daniel? 
Daniel. Do not move. It killed her! She was my friend! Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! I'm so sorry. It just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. I'm right here. It's all right. Here, you should do it. That's it. It's pointless. You can't even bury her. Well. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. Good girl. Rest in peace. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? Yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. About his allergies. Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. I wish we didn't have to go. I like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? <laughs> They'll protect the next runaways that stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. 
So long, my dudes. We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? 
or something. We'll figure out something. Yes, we hear you. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> Oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay. Inside. Both of you. Is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? So hungry, my belly hurts. What are we going to do? I remember that. I think it used to be in the living room. <sighs> Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Really want to involve? It's good to be inside. Finally. I just hope they let us stay the night. Feels so awkward to be here. Our grandchildren are wanted by the police for murder. I know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. Next to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened. Then we'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide. Now, if you want us to help you, did you... Hurt that police officer in Seattle. Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad. Sean, we have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand. 
You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Uh, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? Go down to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are going to stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's... really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay. But we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey! You're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean? Um, and Mushroom? And you and Grandpa? And, uh, everybody else? Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well... You know. I was wondering... How do you do it? Uh... I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Wait, does it hurt? Nah, it's kinda itchy though and exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. That's cool Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. This is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. Oh, 
Man, I miss that dirty little dog so much more than I thought I would. That's a cool memento of art. Secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never. Daniel was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! <sighs> I'm glad they get along so good. Oh, careful, Chief. <sighs> Daniel's Going definitely the ideal grandson. We we're late on schedule! Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? I used to hate brushing my teeth. <laughs> Just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. Saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Quite the change from our they have so many pills and stuff to take. Sucks to be old. It's been locked ever since we got here. I kind of don't give a fuck. Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire is waiting for us.
Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> I know. Daniel, <sighs> breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa showed me a pop star. Steven. Your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but... The engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> oh, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. going on back there? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. <sighs> I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And Besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, 
You have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about all this. It's, it's fine, really. We don't have to. I heard Claire rehearse some songs. <laughs> She's got the groove. Oh, this looks cool. <laughs> Too bad it's broken. What happened to the ship? Oh, that thing? Stephen made it years ago. But it fell, and he doesn't know how to fix it. That's sad. Looks pretty cool anyway. Yeah. Well... Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to see you practice. You're so passionate. Time to take the pen, dude. <sighs> okay. Got it. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Beautiful. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Feeling of love? Passion, princess? <laughs> Escape to pleasure? Man. Does Claire read all of these? Dude, come on. Such a big fireplace. I told Not you even I needed. <sighs> That's luxury. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Gee, I could never do that. I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. <laughs> Daniel's going nuts in here. Hey, what's up? Oh, excuse me, sir. You did not win a ticket for this trip. You got a hit check. <sighs> Come on, Chief. I just want to see how this works. Now, I could be a real superhero and save the train from disaster. I remember playing this when I came here years ago. Man, things were so different back then. This model is so amazing. Yeah, Grandpa says it took decades to build, 
Can you believe it? It's crazy. It's way cooler than anything I ever did in Minecraft. Hmm. Sounds like something's stuck in that tunnel. Watch out! The train is going to derail! This toy train is kind of soothing, actually. Ooh, there actually was something stuck in there. I wonder if Steven has ever seen a flying train. Fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. I can't believe they fixed it and kept it. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I've, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can. Well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I really don't know what to think. He needs a doctor. Or something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah, I get it. He needs you. More than anything else. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel, and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is, uh, maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Uh... We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run? <sighs> that won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us, 
And you have to think about your brother, you know, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. And for you guys, too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. So here it's it's right. good to see you in my lair. <laughs> Even though you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? <laughs> Why? Well, well, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites. But trust me, a, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, and it's, it's safer that way. Yeah, yeah. I know. Stephen sure takes his hobby. Oh, God. you found this. I, uh, I just forgot to, uh... It's okay. It's been a while since I've... seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know? I can't approve what she's done, but I... I, uh, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't... Uh, uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. <laughs> How come you have a disco ball? <laughs> Are you, like, throwing parties and stuff? <laughs> no, this is... Uh... A souvenir, you know? I actually met your grandma during a disco night. Believe it or not. For real? Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. She was such a good dancer. We danced for hustle. Mm -hmm. And I, I knew I was gonna marry that woman. Aww. Mm -hmm. By the way, I have no idea what you're talking about. But it sounds so very cute. <laughs> well, I'd show what it is if only these hips allowed me to. Wow. Is that you? Oh, yeah, that was taken when I retired. The mayor came to congratulate me himself. That's awesome. Yeah, really great day. Ah, I wish you'd been here. Man, who did this? Oh, it was our neighbor's son, Chris. Yeah, I, I helped him and his dad build that treehouse. Why are you holding a fire sword? I'm, I'm not sure. You know, that kid sure has an imagination. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey, I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? <laughs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. 
It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. D busy my ass. Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first. <sighs> Jeez. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Gotcha! Hmm. I get that he's sick of all this shit, but why are we playing this game? See you tonight, buddy. Claire can drop pretty damn good. Guess it runs in the family. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. I get why they love their town so much. It's kind of cute. Where the hell is he hiding? Oh. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> Good. He deserves to be spoiled. We stopped our training session since we got here, so... It sucks. This used to be Karen's room. Hmm. Wonder what they've done with it. I know you're in there. Gotcha! What the...? Behind you! Yeah. Very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. Oh. 
All right, let's get it over with. All right, time to take care of that laundry. <sighs> Thanks, Claire. How many programs does this thing have? Okay, it will do. I miss Dad and his silly <laughs> Santa Gringo accent. What the hell are you doing? Uh, what? I just picked the, the phone. You know what, dude? We're not supposed to be here. Who was it? I don't know. Uh, some kid? It was just a prank, Sean. I know. Just be careful, okay? Don't worry. Okay, time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Oh, man, finally! Feels so good to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin. Right? Oh! What did Claire say? Oops. You're right. Sorry. <sighs> Get ready for storage wars. <gasps> What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. <sighs> of course. <laughs> Sean, look! Did you see that? Um, see what? We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, I just fell down into the snow. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That t-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, power Bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Uh, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Um, yeah. Uh, but not for long. We're just passing by. Uh, I see. Oh, geez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I... Uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh... If Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Sure. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around, then.
thanks, guys. See you later. Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? <sighs> no, you... <sighs> you did the right thing. <sighs> but listen, we can't let anybody know. <sighs> we have to keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same exact thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That kid never listens. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Daniel didn't give a shit about what I told him yesterday. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop? It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. Look at this. These articles are almost a month old. Maybe they stopped looking for us? What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Well, Brody, if we ever make it home, wherever that is, you'll be much, much welcome. Well, this article is much less creepy than it seemed back then. Holy shit. Who are these assholes? The hell is wrong with Lila? Maybe I should call her while there's nobody home. 
I should really call Lila to check on her. Jeez. What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Okay. Let's get this Brack back home now. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm too soft with him. <laughs> and I thought Daniel was the crafty one. Cigarette butts and beer caps? <laughs> now that's a creepy snowman. <laughs> At this point, you probably won't miss one eye. Wonder what went on between this kid and his dad yesterday. It was pretty weird. What the fuck? I'm gonna kill him. Steven and Claire are gonna freak if they realize he went to the Ericsons. Wow. That's a lot of beer. Daniel! What's going on here? Sean! Wait! Don't freak out! I can't explain! Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things. Objects. With my mind. Oh. A superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! I'm gonna be... Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? I don't know. Something cool like El Diez Blow Loco. Mm, sounds like a super villain's name, but okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah, they share a lot of things, as thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes, can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Um, okay, sure. 
I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Careful. It may be tricky. Look closely. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Look closely. Interesting. Careful. It may be tricky. Okay. How did I do? You're good. You guessed all right. You deserve a little reward. It's an interstellar traveler. I gave the other one to Daniel. Wow. Thanks, Chris. That's awesome. After all, you're part of the team now. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So... Where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. Oh, yeah. I saw that drawing you made of him with that badass blazing sword. I made it to thank him for making the treehouse. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. <laughs> Obviously. All hail Captain Spirit, the first and only carpenter vigilante. Ah, too cold. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. 
There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Thanks for clearing the snow from the porch. You're, you're awesome. You're welcome, Dad. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything, but don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow, so many trees. like giant cocoons. Creepy. You coming, Sean? Don't worry. I'll be around. Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. 
Hi. Everything all right? All good. Quiet morning as usual. It's not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. She looks so out of place here. Cool. It's me, it's me, you've come to take my duality wakes the midnight time I could not see if I were you, were you, or me. We play the game with skillful ends and so I ask for your demands give me your love give me your gun and you trace the spark to it whoa the guy who painted that he must have been seriously high I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. This place is nice. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Hey. Time to take the pen, dude. Well, anyone interested? Anyone? <sighs> okay. Got it. What are you drawing? Whoa! It's so cool. Are you like a professional? <laughs> nah. More like the opposite. You could draw comic books. The awesome adventures of hey, Captain Spirit and Super Wolf. <laughs> Pretty rad for Hollywood name. <laughs> yeah. I'll think about it. Hey, can you add something funny to your drawing? Funny? Like what? Uh, I don't know. Something cool. Uh, okay. Big question. Zombies or UFO? Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. I hope I can draw like you one day. I'm sure you will, man. Too bad we can't come and see. Maybe we'll get some leftover pies and eggnog, at least. Hey. Ha! <laughs> well, finally. Someone who dares speaking with me? Hope you're vaccinated. <laughs> what? Uh, no, I mean... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It's nice to chat for a change. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody... Gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> I 
No, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Damn. That sounds kind of dangerous. <laughs> Not really. If you can run and jump, you're pretty much good to go. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, kids. Goodbye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. Her doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine. So... Uh, you're gonna find our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. Should we do something about it? See the snow on that booth? Yeah. What about it? Maybe this guy needs a shower. You know? To cool him down. <laughs> You're right. 
Hold on. Careful. Careful. <laughs> this will teach them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Come on. They're pretty. This must belong to that girl. Hmm. Maybe I'll get into guitar one day. <laughs> Who knows? Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli dying. Take a look. I miss Dad's Christmas at all. <sighs> Funny how all small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. Holy shit. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? We're just passing through, so, uh, at a... Motel. Well, I saw you speaking with Charles, so I thought... Oh, we're not related. My brother Daniel's friends with Chris. Gotcha. I like his son. Funny little guy. Despite everything. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. Hi, everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. Hope you're doing well. Hi. This is a nice collection. <laughs> Why, thank you. I make them all myself. Whoa. Must be a lot of work. <laughs> Definitely too much for the money they get me, yes. Do you... Have another job? <laughs> Obviously. Wouldn't last a month if I relied on handcrafts to make a living. The mall has ruined every single shop in town. Can't do anything about it, and people seem surprised unemployment is going through the roof. I know. It sucks. But we can't do anything about it. Right? I like to think there's always a solution. However frustrating that thought can be. Anyway, you've got better things to do than listening to an old lady ranting about capitalism, right? That's cool. Don't worry. Well, thanks for hearing me out anyway. You have a nice day. Claire and Steven definitely have a kink for Christmas. Pet they like these. Man, it would have been so cool to have one of these before coming here. Is that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. Betty loved this. This is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek.
We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. While he's still busy with Chris. I... I know it sucks, but... Daniel deserves it too. Right? Behold, the giant condom machine. <sighs> Jeez, Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree, <laughs> but we never surrendered. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. Anyway, Got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, uh, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. Uh, hey, how long are you staying at your grandparents? I don't know. Depends on how long Stephen and Claire will put up with us. Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seem to care about Chris. But I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Claire threatens to call social services. That's true. We are not your usual pretty happy suburban family model. But I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. Yeah, my, my mom left my dad a long time ago. She never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. 
I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad will <laughs> No way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah. I could do that with a hammer, but let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. We have to get into that room, before they come back. Dude, hurry. I'll stay here in case they come back. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel, or he'd freak. Clothes, old stuff, <sighs> definitely no hidden key. Sean, hurry up. We might come back <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? <sighs> we clearly don't share politics, but at least Steven doesn't preach. I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. Yeah, not much to see in here. <sighs> Locked drawer. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. Man, he looks so different. So young. 
Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. <sighs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <sighs> Still super cute, though. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Sean! I saw Grandma... Sharp objects. <laughs> like she Bit like Claire. But then she <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. How much more Irish can you be? Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Whoa, I'm just looking for a key, not the crown jewels. Ew, are these? Milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key uh. here. Okay, Daniel. Uh, think hard. What was she wearing? Uh, geez. I think it was that weird uh, sweater thing. Dude, you rock. Shit, these are Christmas presents? <sighs> that would have been really useful when we lived in the woods. Karen's smile on this picture kind of reminds me of Daniel's. Would be cool to ask Steven about his firefighting career. He must have had a small town hero starter pack. <sighs> Shit. Wish I had the chance to find my thing too. Come on. Where is this card again? No. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes. I know I can't. We have to get into that room before they come back. Oh, fuck. Can't find that stupid key. Just go for it. Yes. And don't blow apart the whole house. Haha. <laughs> really? Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened to it's all like the stuff in my room? She almost never used those. When we left. I don't know, and I know. I wish I could answer that. Okay. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Ulysses? Hey Daniel, check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... The hero? I guess. So cool.
They want to forget anything related to Karen. <laughs> I can relate. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? These pictures are so... random. Hi, Ulysses. Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Is that an amethyst? She was into New Age bullshit. Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Figures Karen was already looking for an exit. I hope she took good care of you. <laughs> Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. <sighs> I don't recognize any of these games. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. I wonder my mom loved it so much. <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. They're not that fluffy anymore, little bear. <sighs> I miss my music. I think it's not plugged. What the fuck is wrong with this? Oh, hiding spot. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> so, Karen was already serious about running away. Why did you wait that long? Playlist is boring as hell. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. I miss my skateboard and going to the park with Lila. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here. How about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. 
please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh, what happened? Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry. But we just wanted to... No one ever told you that everything you say before our butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please. Calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But... You didn't even tell us! She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed. She just feels guilty. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that breaking our door to sneak into the room. Well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Daniel, now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? My baby, Stephen, are you okay? Now I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. 
That's all that matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Where? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. Apparently, someone logged on to your grandson's Facebook page. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go up here. Man, Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. Dude, I told you to let him know. You never listen. You're always telling me what to do. And you do whatever you want. So I thought... Yeah, that's so fun for me. I'm just trying to protect us, okay? I know. Sorry. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but... Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. 
No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Inanna. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. Gee. A yo-yo? Awesome. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up! They don't! Come on. I'll show you around. Wow, guys, what did you think of that? That was absolutely dramatic in every way. Um, I, I'm starting to wonder if they're ever going to find their mom. or, And uh, I, got, I got this weird feeling that maybe Sean, he might have a special ability that he doesn't know about. I don't know, guys, but uh, thank you all so much for joining me for this uh this episode of Life is Strange. Um, thank you guys for coming out today. This has been really nice. Uh, I, I can't believe Mushroom died. Damn it. I mean, I guess we, we learn lessons from these type of things, but uh, I wish the doggy didn't have to die. But, well, they did bury him. And 
Rest in peace, Mushroom. Either way, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate you guys coming out today. Um, stay tuned. There will be another episode, episode three. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, it should be coming out in a day or two. So with that said, guys, I'm Nerd of the North. Smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.